Whoop, whoop. Shit, it's us under the police. Whoop, whoop. Sorry. It's us under the police. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Caleb here. I am in our apartment with Zach. So basically we are waiting for Jamie who uh, disappeared on us all day didn't answer his phone and then when he picked up his phone told us that he was a hundred kilometers away and just randomly had picked up a hire car and um we're going to Daikoku today because it's R32 day we missed the Arbo Moon drifting showcase unfortunately because we couldn't get a hire car last minute because we kind of left it really late but we'll do more drifting stuff later down the track but yeah we're going to Daikoku tonight see some cool cars all right also picked up the sick initial D comic today for literally I kid you not 108 yen, which is a little bit over one Australian dollar. Hey man. Konnichiwa. Finally returned home. Biggest dog. Biggest dog, Biggest yeah. Dog. Biggest dog. <laughs> Chinko Suki desu. <laughs> How good is this? Walk out of the hotel, 7 Eleven across the road. Look at all these cars, like, if someone did this in the middle of Brisbane City, just parked on the side of the city street and put their hazards on, you would get shafted by the long dick of the law. So this is a 60k road and we're not breaking the speed limit at all. <laughs> we are we are abiding by the laws of Japan. And these dudes are doing at least like 120. This is ridiculous. And we're traveling through the middle of like all these buildings. This highway is unlike anything I've seen before. I guess he's probably going where we're going. Dude! <laughs> oh, look at him go! It's so loud! <laughs> it's like 50k, so it yes. Do it, do it, do it. Daikoku's down there, you can't really see it from where we are. But this is the loop down and we're following that Datsun down into, into the parking area. You see my video? Look at all these 32s. We are here at 32 day. And there is 32s for days. So this is the car that we were following, this is the owner. No. Um, tell us about it. No, it has a, you know, 815. Oh, okay. And I looked it up, like, it's uh, 160, uh, I mean 1,600. 1,600 yeah. cc? Yeah. Oh, okay. And you got SSR Mark IIs? Yeah. How wide are they? Oh, uh, it's not, 9J. 9? Yeah. Offset? Do you know offset? Um, like around the Big. minus 10. Minus 10. 9J minus 10 on a Datsun Sunny. <laughs> This thing is incredible. Yeah, sorry, what was your name? Ah, uh, Teru. Caleb. You have an amazing car. <laughs> so there's a big speed bump over here, there, and his car doesn't fit over it. Um, he was just telling me Technical Factory, which is his team banner, is his friend's garage who works only on Datsuns. So yeah, down here at Daikoku, there's cars everywhere. There's a bunch of Datsuns. What is this thing? It's some Toyota. This badge I've noticed. It's like a different Toyota badge. I've not seen it before. But I noticed it was on some Toyota wagons. I think it's Toyota anyway. I might, I might be wrong. Obviously a big part of 32 Day is R32s. 
and we've got a massive lineup of R32s over here. White 32, not bad, not bad. This one's nice, GTR. 32 GTR, another GTR, another GTR. So you get the point, there's just 32 GTRs all over the place. It seems cool little carbon fiber spoiler there. I think Nismo LMGT is on this 32 GTR, which are like the Nismo wheels that they put on them, which is cool. They look kind of like T37s, but they're not. Konnichiwa. Non-turbo bat. Oh, non-turbo? So, RB26 swap into a non-turbo shell. Twin turbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But car, non-turbo, engine, put in, twin turbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. 300 ZX. That's pretty nice. Nice wide body flares. Here is, you can see, all the Datsuns. Uh, lots of Datsun Sunnies, because Datsun Sunnies also share 32. So you can see lots of Datsuns and Minis as well share 32. And yeah, basically everyone comes here because all their cars share the 32. They park at Daikoku and go look at each other's cars. Here are some old school minis. That's pretty cool. I think the others must have gone and got some food, but I'm just having fun looking at all these Datsuns and stuff. This is pretty cool. A notchback sprinter. Uh, got a Trueno. A Trueno AE86 notchback in black, the black and white, the factory black and white. Shout out to Kurt, the meme car as he would call it. A shout out to Matt Chen, rip the starlet. Oh man, look at this Datsun. That is pretty. Widened factory steelies as you can see there. Low as all hell. Big front lip. Carbon fiber hood. Oh. So many Datsuns, bit of a race livery on this one, that's pretty cool. As you can see, just like rows upon rows of Datsuns, uh, it seems to be the main car here tonight, which is funny, you would think 32 Skylines would be, but a couple more cars chilling right up the back area here. This Subaru has been left on, shows just that the trust they have in, uh, in Japan is ridiculous. They leave things unlocked, they leave their cars turned on, and they just know that no one's going to steal it. And so they just don't care. This Civic is pretty nice if you're into Civics. Front bumper is held on by tires. Quick release. And now on BBS meshes, they look like BBS RS, but you know, there's so many different types of BBS, you can just never know. This is something pretty cool, this Honda as well. California number plate bent up, that's incredible. My favorite wheels ever on this car. I am such a sucker for SSR Mark 1s. My friend had them on his S14 so and they looked so rad. Oh. Some, uh, they look like either the Anki Hurricanes or the... No, they're, um... Uh, oh! Uh, not Weds, uh... No, Weds Albinos, yeah. Like being in Tokyo Drift. Like being in Tokyo Drift but less car park and more open space. Look at this Gloria. Incredible. Also on SSR Mark 1s. I love this place so much already, and I've been here for one day. R32s all rolling past. Oh man. GTR. <laughs> man, these cars are all so low to the ground, it's ridiculous. You do not see this in Australia ever. Oh, look at this Mini. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Adam LZ and uh, Nicole. Yeah, I just saw my future wife drive off in a 32. I don't know a whole lot about minis and none of these are really modified that much. 
Well, they probably are. Some of them are lowered, but that uh, like purpley black one has a body kit and a splitter. This whole place is just a sensory overload for me. Zach, what do you have to say? I, I pretty much creamed as soon as I saw the Sonny, so... Dude, yeah, and he's heaven. the nicest guy. This is heaven. And he's so, speaking English. Yeah, the guy who drove the Sonny that we came in, I've forgotten his name because I'm so bad with Tattoo. names. Teru or Tetu? Tatu. Tatu. I don't know. <laughs> Tatu, yeah. Um, that car's been on speed lines. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. That's what I saw it. And he knows Casey from shirts tucked in back home, so that's sick. Look at how low this thing is. That is crazy. You can hear the scrape. Obviously, you've got a parking spot. Here's his car again. Now, this is my kind of car. From bumpers, seen better days, but caged, stripped interior, VIP car used on the track. So yeah, we're just speaking to the owner of this car. He uh, is from Guam, down here in the military. Uh, it's his drift car, obviously. I um, mean, his friend just finished building this 32. It's got a um, RB28 uh, bored out to a 2.8 liter, so 28. Swapped from a 34. And man, that uh, is really nice. Still my favorite car of the night. Yeah, this car looks mean on these old school uh, Equipo ones. They're pretty wide too, you can see they're one piece, which means that they were built in these sizes and that's how they stay. These rear ones have a fair bit of dish for a one piece wheel. So although it is 32 day, some other cars do still come here. This Evo, other cars like an RX-7, that is crazy low, flat number plate. Man, I wish we could modify our cars more back home. Looks kind of like it just got a fresh respray though, because all the like the ducks on the hood are all taped up and stuff. Oh, the triple S policy, bro. The triple S policy. An army themed 86. That's crazy. I want to cry, man. Just like hearing dudes like dose up around. Yeah, dude. Oh. People are banging it onto the highways. A Datsun Sunny yeah. Ute did a drift out like in the yeah, car I saw park that. earlier. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just... It probably doesn't look like that much on video, but this, this is, is the, the most overwhelming place. thing. It's the sickest meat place ever. ever. Your learner license uh -huh. plus like your P license, so when you got the strike or whatever, uh -huh. you get, it's four points. You still get ticket? You still get ticket, yeah, but oh. it's, it's four points, so... So four, four points before license. you lose your license. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, so I got pulled over <laughs> two weeks after having my license in my Corolla, and it was about 20 mil off the ground, so like that far off the ground. And I got pulled over, I lost three points straight away. Only two weeks of having my license and I got a $450 fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a genuine reaction. That's how crappy our car laws are, don't huh? Yeah, so it was pretty... It sucks. It was pretty shitty. Wow. Yeah. Sucks. Guys, you're not allowed to drink and drive hey, at all. No, yeah, no, 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 yeah, no, that's alcohol. something no. we, we can uh, drink about uh, three drinks or two drinks for first hour and one drink every hour after and we can still drive. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. That's, <laughs> that's something we're allowed to do. Uh, you were like screaming past the cops. Yeah, the cops. So we were, laugh we were oh, laughing yeah. so hard. <laughs> you just fanged it past the cops. Yeah. Straight away, man. We've been done. That's kind of okay to do. No cop would ever let us get away with that. For uh, size comparison of the highway, here's Zach, and that's how big the highway is, and it goes all the way. It circles around here, because this is where everyone comes and parks and catches. I think that's a train station. Coke tastes the same pretty much anywhere you go. I got a Dr Pepper. I'm gonna try it because, because I've noticed Dr Pepper in America. Is so much better than Dr. Pepper at home. Yeah, probably. Also, yeah. Asahi in Japan tastes better than Asahi back yeah, home. Yeah. Four bucks will get you a tall, you know, worries, man. Yeah, dude. Alcohol's so cheap over here. I went into a supermarket today, and there's like bo bottles of spirits that are like 20 standard drinks in one bottle. Ten dollars. Crazy. Rip, rip the starlet. Nice ass, Jamie. Lotus is for fans. Nice ass. <laughs> initial D sticker. <laughs> it doesn't. It's not actually initial D. That's just a big D. There's four big Ds right here. Oh. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one's for you, Matt W. 
and Altezza probably actually has a proper beams engine in it, not like your trash. Still love you. Hello, mate. Dude, Kanjo style Honda. Yeah, that's sick. Oh, that's so sick. The best car of the whole night. The Mazda. The meal. So you came to Manko? Yeah, Manko. 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 That means pussy. <laughs> so yeah, it is getting a little bit dead. Uh, we're probably gonna head off. Hola, it's again. Pussy. Like, comment, and subscribe if you Manko. like bearded guys and Manko. And uh, pussy, Manko, <laughs> and uh, Shanku. <laughs> what that's signing out? Shanku. So there you go. I've um, finished hand tightening all the bolts. I'm waiting for Brett to get back before he talks them all down to spec and puts the Loctite in them and whatnot. Just because, you know, he has done it a lot more times than I have. But that's how they are now. They look incredible. As you can see, um, Brett has his torque wrench.